Hey guys, welcome back. So, uh, first of all, I want to say I'm really sorry for missing last Wednesday's video. I have been just horribly sick, and last week it hit me on, it started on Tuesday, and then it just like hit me on Wednesday, and I felt like death, and there was just no way I was getting out of bed to film or edit or do anything. I managed to do it on Friday because I already had a video ready, but I've just been laying in bed waiting for death to come take me, basically. I am still sick, as I'm sure you can tell by this disgusting, nasally voice that I have going on right now. I'm sorry. It's just how it's going to be for the next couple of videos. I can't seem to kick it. But I just want to say I'm very sorry for missing last week's video because I don't like missing videos. It annoys me. I feel like shit about it. But it was just not happening last week. So let's go ahead and get into today's video, shall we? So I have seen this video going around on YouTube like they always do. Um, this is a tag video. I think it's like called the makeup I would buy first tag. Basically, this is like if all of my makeup collection disappeared, these 10 products are what I would run out and buy again because I need them. So I didn't want to put too many restrictions on myself. I've seen a lot of people go different routes. Um, I saw I think Emily Noel, she did hers and she like really got into the thought process and was like, well, if I'm going to be buying a full face of makeup, then I would want it to be affordable because that's a lot of money. And she went all drugstore with hers and that's fine. People can do whatever they want in these videos. That's kind of the point of it. But I didn't want to put that many restrictions on myself. So I basically just picked out my favorites that I know I can use in a multitude of ways that I just, I love. So I do have a full face here. So let's just go ahead and get started, shall we? So I'm going to go in the order that I would put my makeup on. So that of course starts with primer. Now I know I've talked about this in way too many videos lately. This is the Pixi Rose Flash Balm. I'm sorry if you're sick of seeing this, but I'm just on such a path of obsession with this. I can't get off of it. So first of all, I love the fact that this is a moisturizer and a primer because I love multitasking with my products. It's one of my favorite things. I just I love when a product can do two different things because one, that makes it good for travel, so I don't have to take 20 different things, but it's just, it's also good when I'm being lazy. So, like I said, this is the Pixi Rose Flash Balm. This is my favorite primer right now. Um, it's super moisturizing, which my dry skin totally needs, but the glow that this gives to my skin is unmatched by anything I've ever found. It is just beautiful and it, shines through every foundation I own, which is crazy. Most like shiny primers, shiny primers, what does that even mean? <laughs> Most glowy primers don't shine through full coverage foundations and this one does, which is crazy. So I love this. I, it's pretty much the only primer I've been using lately and I know that I would miss it if I didn't have it. So this would definitely be the first thing that I would go out and buy. The next product is foundation. Y'all had to know I was going to talk about this. This is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and this is my absolute favorite foundation I've ever tried in my entire life. This is holy grail status for me. The reason that I would purchase this first is because of the fact that it can be super full coverage or it can be sheared out and like a nice everyday type of coverage. It's a nice like semi matte but combined with this primer, it just has the most beautiful natural glow to it. And it's just, this would be the perfect foundation. Honestly, this, is, this would be the foundation that I would own if I wasn't doing YouTube, if I didn't have a makeup collection. This would be the foundation that I would own just in general. It's just, it's a beautiful foundation that works so well with my skin and can be used in a multitude of ways. So, love this. Would have to have it. Have to. Next up, we have concealer. This beautiful thing is my obsession and my baby. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I just, I love this. I cannot get off of it. Every time I stray away from it and try different things, I miss it and I come back to it. I'm like, why did I even stop? Like, this is the perfect concealer. So I have mine in the shade Fair, which I have the lightest shade. This is the second to lightest shade now. I have the lightest shade 
the light the new lighter shade is a little bit lighter but I find that it oxidizes a little bit on my under eye so I do prefer fair um, it's just it's medium to full coverage it smooths out my under eye in just the most beautiful way and just it looks amazing to go along with those products wow <laughs> This is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I have mine in the shade 05 Fair. Now, these two products are a dream team because like I said, this is not the lightest shade. This is almost an exact skin color for me. So pairing that with this powder, this is so brightening, it's ridiculous. Like I said, I do have mine in 05, which is the uh, lightest shade in this. And it's just the most intensely brightening loose powder. I've ever seen in my entire life so these two products combined together have just been such a dream team for me lately I, I love this powder and I love the fact that it has like a skin tint to it so it's not gonna be super white casty um, and I just I've been loving this even for setting my face and I pretty much never set my face anymore so love this so finishing up the face the blush that I would go out and buy is Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in Feisty. Now, y'all know I have been obsessed with Tarte's formula lately. I cannot get enough of it. It has quickly risen to the number one blush formula for me. It really has. Um, the reason I would go out and buy this shade in particular is because it is just the perfect warm toned nude for me. It's peachy, but can have a shift of like orange to it. And I just find that it looks beautiful on the skin. Considering my love for warm toned eyeshadows, this just pairs perfectly with all of my looks. So love this. It really is just like the perfect everyday warm nude blush. And it's perfect. And these last forever on the skin it's insane for highlighter this was hard like I was going back and forth between like six different ones I could not figure it out and finally I landed on this bad boy so this is the elf baked highlighter in moonlit pearls the reason I chose this one was because you can do like one little swirl and get a really nice beautiful natural highlight or you can go in a lot heavier, build it up, and get in a really intense, blinding glam highlight. And I love that fact. And the, this is the kind of product that I would want. God, I just look straight into the light bulb. Woo! Um, this is the kind of product I would want if this was the only highlighter I have because it would work if I'm going natural or if I'm going full glam. And it's just, it's a fantastic highlighter. It really does just give an intense intense glow if you want it to and it's it's perfect just if you're buying this for the first time remember to scrape off the top because it's like baked and there's like no product on the top it's ridiculous so for mascara I mean do, was there ever any question I have to have my Urban Decay Perversion mascara it is my number one holy grail my perfect uh, foundation no my perfect mascara it's just it's so good. It's super black. It gives me the most long, voluminous, super black lashes that it just, it can't go wrong. Have to have it. Now, moving on to eyeshadow, but before that, I have oily ass eyelids, so there was no way I could not have an eyeshadow primer. Um, this is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Original. My all-time favorite. It's just it's fantastic and it keeps my oily eyelids in check all day long and I have no problem taking up one of my 10 slots with that because it's such a necessity it really is I cannot use concealer as eyeshadow primer it doesn't work so for eyeshadow I decided on the Violet Voss matte about you palette again this is something that I've been talking about a lot lately and I'm sorry if you're sick of seeing it but I really have been obsessed with it so this is all matte, obviously it has warm tones and cool tones and those two reasons right there are the reasons that I decided that this would be the palette that I would buy if I had to go out and repurchase something. 
it's so versatile i can use it for so many different looks so many different ways of doing eyeshadow if that makes sense basically i can use a couple colors for like a natural day i can use um a whole bunch and get like a super blown out smoky glam eye um i'm not big on glitters in general on the eyelid so i don't need that so love this palette love this formula it's it's so good and so versatile. Okay, and last but certainly not least, we have lips. So this was super hard because I have a ton of lipsticks that I'm obsessed with. And I specifically left it for the end for picking because I didn't even know where I was going to start with it. Um, I finally came to the conclusion that I would run out and buy the Urban Decay um, Vice lipstick in Sheer Liar. Now this is actually what I'm wearing right now and it is just the perfect pinky peachy nude. It's amazing. Um, Y'all know I love this formula so that was an easy pick for me just because I knew I was going to focus in on the Urban Decay Vice lipsticks but picking a color, oh that took me some time. Um, but it it's really just the perfect shade. It can go warm toned or it can kind of lean cool tone, so I feel like it would work no matter what eyeshadow look I'm going with. It looks fantastic with this tart blush because it's, you know, warmy peach and this is like a warm peach and it's just really just a fantastic everyday lip and I feel like it can work even if I'm going super glam and it can work even if I'm going super natural. So this is just the perfect lipstick to have if I'm only going to have one. Okay, so those are all of my products that I would repurchase if all of my makeup disappeared for some reason, which honestly would just break my heart, but <laughs> it's a little dramatic, but yeah. These are just my absolute favorites. Some of them are total holy grails, some of them are brand new, but I just know that they would work perfectly in these circumstances. So. I hope you guys liked today's video. Let me know down below what y'all would go out and rebuy if all of your makeup disappeared because I, I just think it'd be fun to hear what y'all would have to say. So I hope you guys liked today's video. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you in the next one.